Clint Cosgrove, Rivals.com, back with another edition of From the Film Room, where we select a player, break down their physical and athletic skill set, and then head to the film to show you why they are a special recruit. This week, we are featuring 2026 Ohio State commit wide receiver Chris Henry Jr. Now, he is not rated right now, but he is likely a future five-star and will make the case for potentially being the top player in the 2026 class once we do those rankings. Uh, now, physically, this kid has a special frame with tons of length and has a, grown a ton over the past year, already in that 6'5", 190-pound range. And like I said, probably not done growing, has a frame that can hold plenty of extra mass, and uh, he's far from filling out. This guy has a chance to be a beast once he is done with his physical development. Now, for a young recruit with his length, and he has great length, he has great body control. And that is rare. That is something you don't often see from a young player, especially at a skill position, growing into their frame. And that is really what separates him uh, from a lot of other players that are similar uh, in stature. Now, athletic profile, he's either phenomenal already or has a raw but phenomenal upside to nearly every part of his game. Uh, you're going to see that despite his early growth, he's able to drop his hips, fluidly get in and out of breaks, incredibly smooth. And with that comes great body mechanics and body control that is beyond his years. And I keep on going back to he is still growing into his frame, okay? Now, he already has this, the long speed to take the top off, and he's only going to get faster as he develops. He tracks the ball very well, has an insane catch radius, and uh, he can adjust to the ball late, all right, in order to make the tough catch. He's extremely agile for a young prospect with his type of length and frame, making him extremely dangerous after the catch. You know, he's just as likely to take the short ball the distance as he is to stretch the field vertically for an explosive play. Uh, you know, he has the potential to be a dominant red zone threat. He's already, you know, on the brink of that right now. Uh, he's a beast when it comes to 50-50 balls. And then it kind of ties it all together. And you look at the genetic profile. And uh, he is the son of late Cincinnati Bengal great Chris Henry, who was a phenomenal receiver at West Virginia before going on to the Bengals. So without further ado, let's turn on the film and show you exactly why Chris Henry Jr. is a special player. Okay, now on to the film. And uh, this first play, the first thing I want to point out is his size. He dwarfs all of the other skill players on the field around him. You'll see this as they get closer to him. And uh, this is as a freshman, okay? This is a big kid that can move. And I chose this play because it is a great example of Henry's twitch, ability to drop his hips, snap off a route with suddenness, his overall field awareness and feel for the defenders, and then the way he naturally catches the ball followed by a seamless transition with really little wasted moment movement to get yards after the catch. So when we start the play, all right, you're going to see how he quickly fires off that ball with a vertical push. By making it look like he is pushing vertical, he's able to keep that cushion, all right, keeps that DB back, and then he sinks his hips, violently snapping off the route. So the ball's coming to him, and most young receivers are going to pause and think about securing the catch and then react to what they see once they have done that. But Henry is already one step ahead, and even though his back is to the D, his awareness and feel for the defenders enabled to put his plan in motion, causing the defense to react to him instead of him reacting to the defense. This is how he turns what should be a routine play into a home run. So he catches the ball, feels and, evades, uh, and evades that first DB, and that is followed by an immediate upfield transition. Now, he should be dead to rights right here. And even though he is somewhat off balance at this point, Henry is somehow able to smoothly bend and duck through to split the defenders and then get to full speed in just a, a few steps to finish this play for six. Now, it may not look like he is blazing here, but this kid can run. And the reason it might not look like he's blazing is, and it can be attributed to how long his stride is and how smooth he runs. But he's out there, he's busy shifting and navigating while everyone on D is in full pursuit with angles on him, yet he is able to outlast them all and make it to the end zone for six. All right, now on to this next play, and it's a little more of the same, but what I want you to focus on here is how naturally he catches the ball while never breaking stride. You know, dynamic players like Henry 
give tons of troubles to defense because everything that they do is with such efficiency to the point that the pursuit angles are constantly changing for defenders. Everything he does is one step quicker than those around him. So if you start the play, you see him on this uh, little tunnel screen type action, hit screen, whatever you want to call it, catches the ball, no pause, sees the crease, and then you see that quick jukes, juke step without slowing down at all. This is an elite trait. I say that because the best receivers have an innate feel and innate ability to manipulate defenders' reactions based off the way they move their body. That's exactly what he does here, okay? That quick st uh, stick with his foot gets the defender off balance. He sees that crease and then once again has the speed to take it the distance. All right, now onto this third play, and I chose this because it's a great example of Henry's route versatility and, again, his ability to manipulate a defensive back's reaction through the way he moves his body. And although you won't see it on this reel, if you turn on his full highlight film, you'll see plenty of plays where Henry's in this red zone area, runs a deep fade route, which typically ends with him mossing the DB, sometimes multiple DBs, and winning a 50-50 jump ball for a touchdown. Uh, not the case here. So what we do have is a DB kind of pressed up with inside leverage. Since Henry isn't going for the Moss fade here, he's going to need to take away that inside leverage. So what he does is you see that quick stutter when we start the play. All right. Against that up corner with the slight inside leverage, that stutter makes the DB freeze his feet putting him in an off-balance position and taking away his inside leverage. That then opens the gate for Henry to slant, and then he does a great job of tracking the ball here, okay? He slightly alters his course. Again, very little wasted movement, if any, and then utilizes that big catch radius to snatch the ball and score the touchdown. Henry's length, overall body control, and catch radius make it easy on the QB because that ball can be put in a place that nobody else aside from Henry can even get close to, but you're going to see him snag it out of the air and once again make a difficult play, look routine for another touchdown. All right, now on to this final clip, and it may not wow you, but it's another display of a superior athlete with an incredible skill set, as well as a great example of his speed off the line, smooth running style, precision route running ability, and then the body control and awareness that always has him in position to get yards after the catch. So we start the play, and he's just so fast off the line, comes screaming off the line, covers so much ground with each step. Now, many long striders like Henry have to slow down to break off for this outcut, but not Henry. Everything is at the same speed. He is able to get vertical to full speed, then break for the deep out without ever changing gears. It's almost like one continuous motion. And even though he's changing direction, he never breaks stride. And that is an elite trait. Okay, but he doesn't finish there. Now, most receivers, they would be happy to get to the sideline, get the catch, and have their momentum take them out of bounds. But Henry isn't that type of player, always looking to maximize his catches and yardage. He secures the ball and then has the body control and sideline awareness to stop on a dime. You see that defender fly past him, and then he transitions upfield for the extra yardage, making another play that may appear to be routine. But this is an elite player at work, and the crazy thing is he is only scratching the surface of the player he will eventually be. So there you have it. From the film room, Chris Henry Jr., uh, you can see why he is such a highly coveted player at such a young age. He's a phenomenal talent with an incredibly high floor, but probably even a higher ceiling. And uh, he's going to be a name that will be well known in the coming years. Now, uh, one of my favorite parts of doing From the Film Room is the NFL comp. And uh, I didn't have to look hard and far for this one. In fact, I just went straight to his dad. And uh, it is incredible, just the comparison. When you look at it, you know, going into uh, the draft, Chris Henry Sr., he was uh, six foot four, 197 pounds. So if you look at it, you know, frame and size wise, uh, Chris Henry Jr. has a chance to be even bigger. But then, you, you watch the film, and I watched a lot of the West Virginia film of Chris Henry and their mannerisms, the way they play, the way that they are 50-50 uh, ball masters and, and stretch the field and, and ball after the catch. There's just so many similarities. And uh, watching Chris Henry Jr. is almost like watching his dad. 
but you know what? He's got a chance to be just as good, maybe even better. And uh, he's got some incredible physical gifts. But this was a fun NFL comp. And, and there you have it. Chris Henry Jr. to Chris Henry Sr. And that is From the Film Room with Chris Henry Jr.